Moves, Big Buddha, I'll give you that much. <laughs> moves? What moves? The moves. You know, you were modeling. I think you've watched I those, saw you uh, strike a pose. those runway modeling shows I'm, late I'm at just, night. I'm, try I'm trying to avoid that. That's why I'm playing dumb. Hello, I'm trying to just move on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stop okay, bringing up old you. stuff. You're not just playing dumb. <laughs> no, oh, I mean, this time you are. Okay. <laughs> no, guys, you know, we, you know, there's some great stuff happening out here. We've been hanging out with some local businesses. We're talking with uh, Betsy Burton. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Buy Local First. What is it all about, and why should we, we, we do this? Buy Local First is a movement about small business, locally owned business, independent business, and the businesses in a local economy keep all their money here they don't send it out of state and we do all our business with other local businesses so we really are the backbone of the economy and we're also an important part of the community because we really add texture and richness to community and we are a part of community we all live here and we care about it and, and just like uh, how we want to support the United States by USA we're just bringing it down to a more closer home front buying locally here in Utah right that's right. We want to keep our money here in the state, and we want to support our community. Okay. Uh, the name of the bookstore is Kings English. We're going to come back. We'll talk to Betsy a little bit about what's hot and what you might want to put on your Christmas list this year. Uh, the address, again, is 15 South, 15 East. Do you have a phone number for the bookstore? 484-9100. All right. We got more for the bookstore when we come back. We'll see you guys in a little bit, and maybe we'll have Betsy do some of her moves, because you guys are tired of looking at my moves. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not tired. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you guys, man. Thanks, Big Boo. <laughs> well, Utah Christmas tree stand features something. All right, Big Boo to hard at work helping us understand why it's important to go local first in Salt Lake City. Helping us understand the importance of turning on the microphone. No! There's a little switch. His the mic mic's is on. on. He's I... giving us the proof. Okay, the next thing you try is connecting some cables. Uh huh. And we're going to try that at some future time. We need some tinfoil to put on our antenna. <laughs> <Yeah>. or something. <laughs> All right, time is 8.23. We'll go back to Big Buddha pretty quickly. Some football will do anything. All right, we're going to try this again. We're going to go back out to Big Buddha. He's in Salt Lake City this morning. Hi, Big Buddha. Hey, guys. Uh, oh, good. Sometimes Much better. There's technical difficulties, and sometimes it's just my big fat leg. So uh, I apologize <laughs> yeah. for stepping on the cord, but, you know, that's just live <laughs> television. We're hanging out at um, the King's English Bookstore. This is Betsy Burton. Uh, Betsy, how are you doing this morning? I'm fine. How are you? Not too bad. Now, anybody that wants to put, I'm sorry, you look. Yeah, I hate to be rude, but what is that thing on your forehead? Uh, uh, it's nothing. I can't take it off. It, it won't come off. It's some body jewelry. I'm surprised you don't have one. You look like a lovely young lady that should have some body art. I'm too old for oh, body okay. art. <laughs> Somebody that's a book fanatic, what should they have on their Christmas list this year? Well, absolutely they should have this book. This is by E.L. Doctorow, who wrote Ragtime, and it's called The March. It's about the Civil War, has all kinds of fascinating characters. You can't put it down, and it's great history besides. Okay. Um, have you noticed a trend, like when people see movies, or maybe they read books and they go out to see movies, that does that happen a lot? That does happen a lot. Usually the book is far better than the movie. And this particular... Let me, let me, why is that? Do you, can, can you explain why that is? The book is always better than the movie. When you go see the movie that is based on the book, it's never the same. Why is that? Because I think what, what you make up in your head, you know, the way you picture stories, right, right, okay. <laughs> is far more interesting than anything a director can do. How is Zorro doing compared with the movie being released? Is it doing well? Zero is doing actually better in book form, I think. The movie's gotten panned, and the book is fabulous. It's just a great read. It's great for teenagers. It's great for adults. You can't put it down. Okay. On a scale of one to five uh, ink quills, how many ink quills would you give it? <laughs> I'd give it five for a good read. Five, okay. What else do we have? We have a novel by Louise Erdrich. It's about the Ojibwe. It's about a drum uh, that... It sort of tracks, the story tracks the drum through history, and it's a wonderful read, and she's a great writer. Really quick, the address and the phone number if people want to come out here and check out, check out some books at King's English. 1511 South, 15th East, 484-9100. Okay, we're going to take you out with some moves. My, I told you Betsy has some moves. Here, take that. And when we come back, we're going to wrap it up, but we're going to take you out with some moves. Here's some uh, librarian or book moves. Ready? I'm ready. And one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
it's like synchronized <laughs> swimming almost. Synchronized They're so reading. good at uh -huh. it. Too. They practiced, obviously. Wow, he's a speed reader. He's almost to yeah. the end of the book. Amazing. Yeah. You've now had about three and a half hours to practice this forecast, David. I have. A few minutes. But first, we're going to talk to Big Buddha right now because he's uh, wanting us to buy local this morning. Guys, I hope well, we've given you some great ideas, uh, but you know, most importantly, not only do you have some great Christmas ideas, uh, great Christmas gift ideas, but you're also supporting our community here locally in Utah. Uh, Betsy, really quick, let's give again uh, the address of the King's English uh, Bookstore. 1511 South, 1500 East. And a phone number? 484-9100. And a beautiful thing, all the three businesses that we've been hanging out this morning, they're all located in the same address. So just come to 15 South, 15 East, you can find the Blue Cockatoo Gallery, great uh, garb, also uh, right across the street, is the King's English. All right, I think I think we've come up with a new move. Let's let's show the, without the book, you know. Yeah, just like that. All right. So if you want if you want to support your local communities and <laughs> and also get some great Christmas ideas, you got to come check these uh, businesses out and support you know your local businesses. What do you think of the the body art? Well, I want to know how permanent it is. Oh. <laughs> oh. I guess it's permanent. Yeah, that's going to look more. skin. Uh -huh. You might have a new piece of body art there now. Why don't you put it on? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thank you for hanging out today. Hey, that's it for guys. We're going to toss it back to you guys in the studio. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All Thanks, right, Big, Big Buddha. Buddha. Right, you guys. too. Bye-bye. See ya. Time is 841. Looking for